Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the old radio alarm clock. Um, this was made back in 1999, I believe, and I got this for a whopping $25 at a thrift store. Um, I picked this up purely on the look of the machine. I think it looked great, that's why I picked it up. Um, I made it, uh, everything is well working. Clocks out of battery, that is alright, I can change it, and I can show you how to do a few things with this thing, um, show you some of the features, how much it goes for on the market, um, tell you some some history I had with this thing, uh, um, yeah, so we're going to get right into it, um, first, let's take a look at the condition, and the knobs and everything, everything here, seems to be on good working order let me turn the light a little bit um, let me dim the light a little bit maybe let me change a different format uh, which one do you like more? I like this one too bright? there you go oh, that's pretty good alright that's pretty good so let's take a look at the knob everything here works good alright it's not it's not you know crazy fast don't don't like twist it too hard make sure you keep it in good condition FM AM have a click volume knob good tone good power on and off we, there will be a little light here first uh, there's not a lot of dust on here as you can see can you see that dust we'll try to clean this with a little bit of alcohol best thing to use always alcohol because um, it's not it doesn't have a lot of moisture and it kind of does the opposite it kind of put the moisture away now me I like I actually like using some hand sanitizer if you guys don't mind um, I just think it's easier to spread it around it's easy to um, you know it, because it's, it's not too watery oh, look there's some hand sanitizer on it not too watery. You can keep it on here. It doesn't hurt it. it. Should be should be okay. Feel free to criticize me in the comments. But we're gonna wipe the glass on the um, um, meter here. Take a look. All right. See dust on here. We'll try to wipe it down. You see the difference? Do you see that? Here. You see a red pin? Watch this. see the big difference um, I've been doing this a long time now with with the um, alcohol well hand sanitizer and usually it don't seem to hurt anything except if you have real wood then I don't recommend using that but for glass should be okay should be okay good for um, plastic glass in general should be all right Look at that. That's nasty. Oof. But now, it is clean. Um, let me turn the lights off and show you the light up features. So, light is off. And turn this off. Okay, natural lighting. Um, I'm going to turn the lights off and so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm going to turn the power on. There's a red light here. Let me clean that a little bit. As you can see, you can hear the Jesus, what is that? Okay. Stop that. Alright. Um, radio on. Radio, buzzer, auto. Let me put on buzzer just to be quiet. I'm going to turn the lights on by flipping the switch. Look at that. That is just... That just spells out vintage. You don't you don't tell me that don't look good? Now it is not that old. It is um late um I mean it's, I mean uh I mean get yeah early nine uh late nineteen nineties. This was made nineteen ninety just before two thousand ninety ninety nine. Just before two thousand. Um 
That means it's not that old. It doesn't consider as a vintage. Um, but it is a really nice quality radio. And it does get the work done. Now, should I review this with dim lights? I don't think so. Let me turn the lights on. Is that better? Yeah, okay. Let me turn this lights on too, so you guys can see. Is that better? There you go. There's still nasty spots on here. Um, usually, I spend... Back then, when I was in Seattle, I collect them. I just spend my day cleaning the things I bought them. Goodwill, at the end of the day, I just sit in my room, cleaning them, while, you know, watching some couple of cool YouTube videos in the background, listening to them, and I just clean them. Very relaxing. If you guys ever do this, you know how relaxing it is. It's very relaxing. Uh, I suggest you guys give it a try, because it is really fun. You know, if you have a really stressful day, and you want something to do, Find something in your house that needs cleaning, um, also like, like an object. Um, sit down, grab you all some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, making sure you um, make sure everything's clean, nice. Okay, I do have to mention, be careful on some paint, um, because alcohol can actually burn the paint off of things. So definitely don't use anything that's um, too strong and try, uh, try to avoid the paint. Now I've played this many times, I know the paint isn't going to give on this one. It's good quality paint. That's nasty, see that? Oof. And uh, let's clean, let me get closer so y'all can see this cool thing. This is amazing. Can y'all, is a light on right here? Can you guys see it? Cool, cool. See the snooze button is all dirty. You know. Look at that. Look at that. That is just so relaxing to look at. You know, I like to do. A, I want to do one video without any commentary. Just uh, me cleaning with some, you know, music, I guess. But. That's just like an activity that I usually do. I think it's more challenging to do some commentary. And if you guys don't like the commentary, you can always turn the volume down. Okay, try not to get in the... Ooh. Make sure it doesn't fall into the mechanical part. Just try to clean this part nice and clean take a towel wipe it and turn the power off for now it does look cool yeah hope you guys are enjoying the video so far I sure am I just love wasn't meant to happen. Now, I'm going to tell you why it does that. It's not broken. It's actually doing what it's supposed to do. Um, that's where you put the battery in. Oh! I got so carried away cleaning this. Let me show the radio features. I'm sorry. I forgot. I got so carried away. Radio on. FM. Let's put the thing up. Light on. Light on. Switch has no power to change a light. And the third. And there's also an antenna right here. See that? Just pull it up. Turn it. And then it goes all the way up. There you go. See that? Very nice. I enjoy this a lot. And oh, I'm sure this is driving someone nuts. Got the power button right there. The power switch. Okay, how about that? Is that better? 
I enjoy this. This is really fun to do. Yeah, I feel like this is like therapy. This is awesome. Oh, you close this. Let me show you some cool what it looks like on the outside. You just push, push this down. Close that. Let me put the cord back. Put the cord back. Like so. A lot of dirt here. I'll spend time cleaning that. Locked. Serial number. And it's control certified. No, control certificate. New York, Paris. Very cool. There's a stand here. And there's a stand here. So you can stand like this. Nice little handle. Both sides. What is that again? Forgot. Speaker. And the clock. Oh, my bad. Let's do that again. The clock. Is the other way. Uh, let me get the bat. Let me show you how to get the battery. Wow, you sure can see everything. Let me get it for y'all. Right here, um, double A battery, not that hard to change. Oh, I do need to show you something. The bottom here, <laughs> this is where the battery goes. Now, I don't think I ever changed the battery here. I should, I should change, but <laughs> look at it. Just so you know, this don't take double A batteries, but take a look. <laughs> Wow, and it's double A batteries. The joke is, the batteries are too small, but it gets the work done. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it's just perfect. I don't want to move it. <laughs> it's just enough to make the radio work. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at this. Now, it's, it is getting a little bit corroded here. I'm, I have to remove this and take this out. That's okay. I can always change it. But yeah. That's my little review for the um, clock radio. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day.